Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to deploy Google Chrome using Microsoft Intune. We are using Win32 app feature to deploy Google Chrome to Windows devices. Before we get started, we need to go to GitHub. I will put all the links used in this tutorial in the YouTube description box below so you guys can get it from there. Once you're on this GitHub link, you need to download the Microsoft Win32 content prep tool which we will use to package the MSI file so it can be deployed using Microsoft Intune. Click on code button and click download zip to download the content prep tool. As you can see, it has already been downloaded. Now let's go to Google Chrome Enterprise version and download that as well. In here, I'm going to keep it as 64-bit because these days most people use 64-bit and the operating systems are also 64-bit. But for some reason, if you want to go with 32-bit, you can select it here. So I'm going to leave it at 64 and I'm going to click Accept and Download. And this is going to download Google Chrome Enterprise version to my local computer as well. Now let's go to my downloads folder and first of all I need to extract the Win32 content prep tool because it comes in a zip file. So I'm going to right click on it and click extract all. Click extract again. This will extract the folder to my downloads folder so I'm going to close that and as you can see I've also now gotten Google Chrome Enterprise Bundle so this is the enterprise version of Google Chrome this is also has come in a zip format so we need to extract it so I'm going to click extract all click extract this will also extract it to the downloads folder we will wait for this process to complete. Okay, so that has also been completed now. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go into the Google Chrome Enterprise Bundle 64 and installers. I'm going to copy this installer, which is what we are going to use in this tutorial. I'm going to copy this and then I'm just going to put it in the downloads folder so it's easier for me to access it. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the Win32 content prep utility which is this one Intune Win App Utility .exe, stands for executable so double click on that it's going to open up this small program we need to input the information that it's asking for so the source folder for this particular example is going to be my downloads folder so I'm going to right click on my downloads folder whilst shift key is pressed and click copy as path and I'm going to press ctrl V to paste the value and then I am going to do the same for the setup file so I'm going to right click on it while my shift key is pressed on and then click copy as path and then control V to paste that value and the output folder in this example I'm still going to use my downloads folder so it's the same as the source so I'm gonna get the path for the downloads folder and paste it hit enter I do not want to specify a catalog folder so I am going to press N and hit enter now this is going to go through a process of wrapping the .msi installer to a .intune win file which is compatible with Microsoft Intune now depending on how big the file is this process can take a minute or two the percentage will be shown in here as you can see it's going through pretty quickly so we should be done in a few seconds as you can see the new packaged file is in my downloads folder this one here so now that we have wrapped the .msi file with .intune.win or we have converted the file to an Intune acceptable format we can go ahead and create the Win32 app so I'm going to go back to my Intune portal, click Apps, Windows, click the plus icon to create a new app. 
under app type select Windows app Win32 click select select app package file and I am going to select the file which we just converted using Win32 content prep tool click OK and you need to put the publisher this is a mandatory field so I'm gonna type Google in here the rest of the fields are optional if you want to upload a logo you're welcome to do it here as well I'm not going to do that so click next in here the install command and the uninstall command will be populated automatically because you're using a .msi file um, as your source setup file if you use a .exe file you will have to manually input install commands and uninstall commands so it is in your benefit to use .msi installers instead of .exe um, if you can so it will reduce the amount of work that you have to do when it comes to install and uninstall commands now I'm gonna leave the default settings as it is but if you want to change anything in here you can do so especially with the device restart behavior um, you can select no specific action determine behavior based on return codes so I'm just gonna change it to determine behavior based on return codes we're just installing a web browser here you do not need to restart your devices but depending on what application you install you may need a restart so I'm going to leave it as determine behavior behavior based on return codes and these are the return codes I'm gonna go next and then in here we're gonna specify what system architecture that we want this uh, installer to be installed on so we are going to go with 64-bit this is 2025 most of the op Windows operating system that I use these days use 64-bit um, unless you use a really old uh, Windows operating system so minimum operating system I'm gonna leave it at the minimum that is given by Microsoft Intune the rest of the information I'm not gonna bother filling up I'm going to go next now detection rules what this does is this checks on the devices whether this application already exists or not before it actually goes ahead and installs the software in this case Google Chrome web browser so there are several ways that you can detect I'm just gonna click manual con manually configure detection rules and click add rule type I'm gonna select MSI so it's going to look for this GUID or MSI product code um, to see if this already exists or not in your endpoints so I'm gonna select OK you can select another method as well if you wanted to do so some people tend to use um, let me just get rid of this some people I'll just quickly show you some people tend to use file as well in here if you select file you'll have to specify the folder location um, where you would expect this installer to be installed on if it already installed um, and you can select file or folder exists um, and there are other options as well that you can select if you want to do so but MSI tends to be the easiest so I am going to go with the MSI rule type click OK and then we're going to go next dependencies there are no software dependencies for this application it's just a simple web browser click next you're not superseding an application this is when if you already have an application and you're updating it or you're superseding it with another version you can um, add that application in here but this is just a simple installation of Google Chrome so I'm not going to do anything in this stage click next assignments if you're testing this in a production environment it's highly recommended that you trial this with a pilot set of devices and if it all goes well you can come back and update this app to um, select all devices since this is a test environment I'm simply gonna go and select add all devices and I don't want the notifications to show up on the end users because it can be distracting so I'm going to hide all notifications and time zone I'm just gonna leave it as device time zone app availability and installation deadline I'm just gonna leave them as soon as possible okay click OK we go next everything's done all you need to do is click create 
Now, once you create the app, it can take up to 24 hours for this application to be installed on your endpoints. And it's dependent on whether your devices are online or not. So deploy this, come back here after 24 hours and you will be able to see some data in here with the status, whether the installation was successful or not. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, remember to subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.